What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and happy Tuesday. I know everybody is gearing up for the holidays right now. I just got back from being in Miami and then in Atlanta, back home in New York. I will say this. I, I feel like I was reading this has been like the least amount of snow that we've ever had for um, winter in New York. So climate change is real. I just want to say that, y'all. Uh, but we have a great show for you today. Erica Ford is going to be joining us. You know her from Starting Life Camp. She also has a partnership with Paper Planes, and she has a cannabis company. So we'll be talking about all of those things when she joins us. Uh, she's a person that I really look to when it comes to being a leader in defunding the police, too. Uh, and defunding the police doesn't mean taking away all of their money. It just means allocating those funds for people who are able to intervene from the community. And she was doing this work for decades with no money involved. So it's great to see how... Life Camp has evolved, but she has some major announcements as well. All right. But in the meantime, we got to spread some love and positivity because that's what we do on Way Up With Ye. 800-292-5150 is a number. Call us up and let us know who you want to show some love to. It's Way Up With Angela Ye. I'm a shine. I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Turn the light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and it's time to shine a light. And today, I want to shine a light on the Lantern Library at Lincoln Center Theater. What that is, is a pop-up museum, and it's a multifaceted education experience for guests who are interested in dismantling systemic oppression. Um, so shout out to them. Shout out to Nicole Johnson, by the way, um, who actually helped make this theater industry more inclusive. Her proposition uses historical insights, best practices in wellness, and educates participants in sustainable social change. Those are all things that we need. So if you guys can make it out here, I know a lot of people are traveling to New York. You can come to the Harriet Tubman Effect. All right, so we want to shine a light on that. Now, who do you want to shine a light on? 800-292-5150 is a number. What's up, Josh? Who do you want to shine a light on? I just want to shine a light on my wife, Anya, Anya Skincare. She's a young uh, business owner. We out in Jersey. I'm from New York. Okay. Uh, she deserves it. I love her, man. We love you. How do you? But how do you spell that? Anya Skincare. How do you spell it? O N Y A E Skincare. Uh, she on TikTok. She on Instagram. And we just looking for some guidance. Huh? You know, we, we like we like what you do for the community. We appreciate what you do for the community. And I know she would love to have an alley oop from you. I mean, who would? Okay, Anya Skincare. I'm gonna look it up. I'm going to order some for my friend Jasmine, too, for, for I, Christmas. I appreciate you. And thank Jasmine, too. You know, I see how she be rocking with you, too. Man. We really appreciate you. All right. um, I'm nervous myself, but I had to do it for her because I know she deserves it. Oh, that is sweet. Everybody support Anya Skincare. Let's take a look at that. And you know how? what else we want to do? We want to give your wife some perfume, some Born in Roma by Valentino. The holidays are coming up. And I know you called up. This ain't no nothing that you normally do. You said you're nervous. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so we want to make sure we celebrate you for that, too, and that support. You know, I love when people get Thank out of their so comfort much. zone. All right, so hold on the line, and we're going to give you some perfume for your wife. On your skin All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Appreciate you. All right, you too. All right, well, that was Shine a Light, brought to you by Born in Roma by Valentino Beauty. For her, for him, for them. And when we come back, we have your Yeeti. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Out, Angela's spilling that Yeeti. Talk to him. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mayno is here. New, New Mayno! I feel like that was a little slow, but I'm back. What's New happening, Mano. baby? I can't wait till Friday so we can really be like, New Mayno! Yeah, New Mayno. Dropping that KLB4 on the way, baby. Whoop, whoop. All right. Well, let's get into some Yee tea. Now, Partisan Fontaine was on lip service. Mm. We've been holding this for a couple of weeks now. Um, and he does have a project that's out today. It's called Sex Tape, and it's also called X Tape. I think he changed it from Sex Tape to X Tape. Oh, wow. Yeah, it has something to do with when you Google it, can you find it, and things like that. But the project is out today. Um, the song, The Person, that was uh, addressing Meg Thee Stallion is not on there, by the way. But we did have a conversation with him about things that he said when he put out uh, that track. Now, here is, just for our recollection, Meg Thee Stallion's Cobra, where she has a little quick line about Partisan Fontaine. Pull up, call him cheating, getting his stuck in the same spot I'm sleeping. Lord, give me a break. I don't know how much more. 
All right. Well, he did uh, discuss this, and I saw a lot of people saying, "Well, how did she, he know well, she didn't name his name?" But we had a whole conversation about right. him knowing that it was about him. Here's what he said. So what did happen? Did that's, you cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all. Um, what's she? Did but, she catch you getting? Your- absolutely not. Did you have sex or be or you intimate with somebody else while y'all while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. Is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. Or right? anything you don't want her doing. In that regard, I say so. Inappropriate, correct? But the way that it was painted, that would have me so mad. I'm like. This is the part of the relationship after everything that took place, everything that was like kind of forgiven, everything that we've washed away. Especially when nobody asked for this. This is what you want to go with. Mm. All right. What is cheating, Mano? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I need to apologize to him. I ran into him one day at the bowling alley. And I was so out of my mind. I was so lit. What did you do? That I was like calling him a different, his, not his real name. Like, <laughs> I think I was calling him Cardi. And you meant party. Okay. Right. All right. Well, there you go. Well, the full interview is out now. We're going to talk about it some more this morning because there were a lot of things that he addressed. And I know there's a clip that's been going around um, that we put out, you know, as a a teaser for the interview. So there's a lot of other things, yeah, that were discussed um, during this interview. But he does have a project that's out today. So what is cheating, right? That's the thing. Yeah. We'll we'll talk about it, Mina. I would Mm. love to hear your thoughts when we um, later on in the show. Also, let's talk about Fab and um, some negative comments. Stop playing with my man. About his man bag. No, there will be no fab disrespect up here <laughs> at all, ever. So it was a Bottega Veneta, the padded tech cassette bag. I like those bags, by the way. Yeah. Um, and so he said, IG commenters had a time making jokes about me wearing a purse, which was really a crossbody bag for men. Yeah, listen, but these guys, it's, we, we like on the fifth year of dudes wearing bags, man. Don't, don't. No fab disrespect up here. No fab slander. And he had on the shoes to match as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I've always wondered where do y'all put y'all things? Like when we have to be I, out and about. Because yeah. we have places to put our stuff right. in. So I'm, I'm happy that you guys now have mercies that you Mur- can use. <laughs> the man purse. Mur- yeah. And I never had one though. You haven't? You have nah, to get one. I never had one. Oh, I thought to about get it. You for the holidays. <laughs> I'm getting you one. You think I'm playing? And you better wear it. But I just don't understand what y'all do like when you're in the airport. I put it all, I put it all in my pocket. That's why That's I'm always too losing much. stuff. And then if you gotta run some fallout. Yeah, it happens. Where's all my right. wallet? Well, you're gonna appreciate it. You're going to appreciate your purse. <laughs> but what I love doing is when I see a guy who I'm cool with, and he, I'm like, oh, can you put this in your purse for me? And they get so mad. Wow. Because they don't like that. You'll never play with me like that. <laughs> Ever. Cannot wait. All right. <laughs> but that is your UT. And when we come back, we have About Last Night. I was in Atlanta, and I got to talk to you guys about everything that we had going on last night. I learned a lot. But when I tell you about the room that I was in, it was really amazing to meet so many incredible people. I also moderated a panel with Chuck Creekmer, who's the founder founder of allhiphop.com, Dr. Benjamin Chavis, um, and David Banner. David Banner, my guy. Yes, all right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. About Last Night is next. About Last Night. Last Night. Last Night. Here's how it went down. All right. It is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is in the building. No, Mano! Well, he on time. I know, that's right. (laughs) And so what did you do last night, Mano? Oh, man, I was moving around the city, had my cape on, super real. Um, Stopped at Army Jury's event. Christmas party it was really dope. It was in the penthouse, and then I swung over to um, the Union DJs event. Shout out to Superstar J and the Union DJs, holding down the city. Nice, you yeah. always moving around. I got to. That's why they better pay attention on Friday. Friday when this new project drops. Kill before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You go out and support everybody. Let's see. That's right. Where are we going? Chelsea House. Yeah, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna start at um. Uh, we're going to do something at uh, Restock, that sneaker okay. store okay. downtown. All right, nice. Well, you know, I was in Atlanta yesterday, and it was for Operation Hope for their conference that they do annually in Atlanta, John Hope Bryant. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, he's the chairman of that. So like I said, I hosted a panel, but yesterday was the dinner that they had that was basically for a lot of the speakers a lot of people that were in the building people who we do business with I was at the table uh, with Nikki Sparrow who loves you Nikki, who works girl. at iHeart yes right. Uh, but so many people in the room and so I just want to shout out everybody from Shopify from Mastercard from Wells Fargo from Truist from Huntington Bank from PayPal but he also was a close confidant to Martin Luther King Jr. so mm. he has amazing stories but a big part of the conversation was um You know, you have on one side of the table, Michael Milken, who is a billionaire, 
right? Prostate cancer survivor. He does a lot of mm. philanthropy. But then you have、um, Ambassador Young on the other side who says that he's never made a lot of money when he was mayor. He was making $50,000 a year、wow. doing public service. And he's like, I don't know what all this money talk is about because I've never had、wow. money like that. And so the conversation was about happiness and also, though, making sure that、um, there's a lot of focus on is. Everything about money in some way or another, or is nothing about money. That was kind of the debate, right? Because you do things because you love it and you're passionate about it, but some people do things because money is a major issue. Which drives them. What would you say is so, your thing? It's a, it's, a good, it's a good topic.、Um, money definitely is a, is, a, is a thing for me. Because、yeah. I mean, we do what we do because we love it, but we also want to be paid for it. You want to be also, compensated for it. Right.、Money. We also want to be able to take care of our family. We also want to live a, a life that we dreamed of. I mean, nobody wants to stay in the same situation that we, it was in. Because Ambassador Andrew Young is like, I'm extremely happy when I. Yeah, I can understand and, that、yeah. too. And、about so, being happy. He said with, a,、yeah. a rapper asked him about like supporting something and, and donating money. He's like, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and he, and he tell him, he said, damn. Was a rapper that did that? Yeah. Because people look at you as a public service person and who people know and think automatically、right. you got it like that. Right. And right. that's not always the case. Right. right. You know? People judge by the eye. But it was a great, interesting conversation that people will have a different perspective on、mm -hmm. and sometimes agree to not agree. But、um, that was about last night. Now, when we come back, I want to talk about this Partisan Fontaine interview that is out today in its entirety from Lip Service. And here was one of the questions that went viral. So, what did happen? Did that's, you cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all.、Um, what's cheating? Did But, she catch you getting your Absolutely not. Did you have sex or, be, or you intimate with somebody else while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. Is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. Or、Reckless. anything you don't want her doing. In that regard, I say so. Mm, so, kind of a yes. I want to hear what you guys have to say, and I definitely want to hear what Mano has to say. <laughs> what is cheating? 800 292 5150. Call us up. It's way up. Or way up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. You may know. And we're talking about cheating, all because Partisan Fontaine was on lip service. And here's what he had to say about whether or not he cheated. So, what did happen? Did you that's, cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all.、Um, what's cheating? Did But, she catch you getting your Absolutely not. Did you have sex or, be, or you intimate with somebody else while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. Is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. Or、Reckless. anything you don't want her doing. In that regard, I say so. All right, so now I gotta say, what is cheating? You know, in this business, it's hard because we do end up exchanging numbers with people. Is that cheating? Of the, well, if it's business related, I don't think that it is, right? Because I think for you, Mano, you have to be accessible. I have to be accessible、right. in certain situations. And sometimes people text you things unprovoked that you did not intend and、like、they may、what? be flirtatious. And so. Like, they might say something like, oh, you know, I would love to take you out one day. And you're thinking it was a business thing. And then they send some random text. And that's when you kind of have to set it straight. But I probably wouldn't mention it、yeah, to my man. That happens, so, that happens to me all the time. Does it really? They ask to、yeah. take you out? Yeah, they'd be like, hey, man, can I take you out? And then what do you say? Where? I, nah. Meet me at Chelsea House? I'm not that easy. <laughs> Depends on who it is, too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so I, but would you tell your significant other, like, no,、nah, I don't think everything is to be told. Because he, because Partisan said he is hiding text messages cheating. It depends on what's on those text、right. messages. If somebody is trying to, like, do something with me, I might not say anything, but I won't do it. I'll curve it, but I'm not going to say, this person texted me. I can't believe they did this because sometimes it causes unnecessary drama. Now, if it's not sexting, if it's maybe a little flirting, I mean, is that really cheating or maybe an attempt? I'm Would, saying it's an attempt. Okay. So Which, you don't do that. Do I? No, I get straight to it. Okay. <laughs> Because the truth is. I'm going straight to sex then. Kat, have you ever been in a situation where your, your lady could actually check your phone? Where you left it up and she had your code? Or you're like, yo, baby, can you text this person for me? Yeah, I mean, listen. I tell people like this. Like, I'm a single man. Don't even, don't even think about my phone because. Everything is my phone. But in a relationship, would you、oh. allow? Yeah, if I was living, living on, on the right side of the tracks. Okay, so、yeah. that's a no. 
No, okay. No, I would do it. <laughs> yeah, baby, take my phone. Well, I want to see it. what you guys think about what is cheating. 800-292-5150. Ah, oh, no. We got Mello on the line. What is cheating, Mello? To be honest, I'm actually going I'm gonna surprise you because I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Cheating is anything that you cannot let your significant other do. So, like, if I do it and I'm not cool with my significant other doing it, that's cheating. Even though I told her uh -oh. what it means because a lot of people... A lot of people be like, yo, anything you can't tell, tell your significant other. But, like, what if you got it like that? You can tell her what's going on, but you're still doing what you're doing. That don't make it right. It's just, you feel me? I feel like cheating is just being disloyal in general. What about if you didn't cheat yet? You just texting. That ain't cheating. <laughs> yes, it is. That's an attempt cheat. Oh, look at you. It's a difference. Arguing. Nah, no. It's no, an I'm attempt. I'm not going to hold but you. All right, it's an attempt. So if, if your shorty is, let's say another dude is sending your shorty money, is that cheating? Ooh. She out of pocket. You feel me? Is that cheating? That's though? out of pocket, but that's but she she's not licking him and they not doing nothing. She just sending him. You feel me? She out of pocket. Mano knows that anything. Yeah. If she was doing the same thing, he would have a fit. He's very sensitive. I'm very. <laughs> of course, this is Mano. Mano. Mano single, but his girlfriend not. That's how he be moving. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Thank you, Mano. <laughs> no problem. Uh, hey, Jess. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm with Mano, and we want to know what is cheating. I think cheating is anything that you wouldn't want to see your partner doing, anything that you, that would upset you. Are there certain things though that are forgivable? Like, are there levels to cheating? Not really. I mean, I I wouldn't be okay with even like texting or anything that you would be like, okay, like let me take a step back and realize this is not okay. You know what I mean? So even if I'm like dancing with someone and I get close to them, that counts as cheating to me. Wait, dancing counts as cheating? Oh my God. Okay, now that you might be... Dancing. Is it just like intimate? Yeah. Oh. Is it just like intimate dancing? There's no such thing as intimate dancing. Uh, you know, they be having carnival. Yes, you know, Mano's Jamaican. They be yeah. winding up on... Right. It's just dancing. I don't know. I mean, if you're significant other is there, maybe. But if you're alone and you know there's some connection happening in there, I count that as cheating. What about going to the strip club? Right. Um, and getting a lap dance. I wouldn't say that's cheating. Some people watch. I, I wouldn't say that's cheating. Some people think watching porn is a thing. So what about watching porn? Is that cheating? No, no. That's definitely not cheating. Now, wait. We got to back up. So he can't dance. But if it's a stripper, he can get a lap dance that he pays for. And that's not cheating. I, yeah, okay, but it, it depends on, like, the intent, right? So if there's a girl that my man has been really close with and they talk all the time and, like, I feel insecure about it and then they're okay, kind of cheating without actually cheating, that is cheating to me. How about, like, a massage that he could just, you know, get an escort to just come by and give him a massage? Why not a masseuse? <laughs> <laughs> Why an escort? Why is an escort? I mean, an, <laughs> sometimes it hits different. An escort? Yes, yeah, is that cool? But Probably not. No. <laughs> All right. You know, and sometimes, guys, what if a woman texts your man and he, like, flirts back a little, but he didn't initiate it and right. doesn't. Is that cheating? Flirting back? That's not cool. <laughs> she ain't going for nothing. I wouldn't say it's cheating, but that's not cool. Like, you don't do that. All right. Well, thank you for calling. You don't do that, John. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you don't do that, John. All right, well, that was us talking about what is cheating. That is the big question. Basically, y'all ain't going for nothing. Nothing. All right, well, anyway, when we come back, we have Yee and let's talk about Kanye West and Northwest and new music. All right, it's way up. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's feeling that Yee Tee. Come and get the tea. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. My guy Mano is with me. You Mano. Yeah. And let's get into this Yee Tee right away. So Young Thug's RICO trial is now on hold until January 2nd. Remember, we talked about his co-defendant, Shannon Stilwell. He was stabbed in jail. Here is what Judge Glanville told the jury yesterday. Remember yesterday we, we recessed because uh, one of our participants had a medical issue when I was telling you about that. Well, unfortunately, that medical condition is still exists and um, I'm going to research you for the holidays today. So now they have to wait till January 2nd to come back. Mm. All right. The, according to the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Stillwell was stabbed by inmate Willie Brown, who's been in jail without bond for almost three and a half years. And so all of that information is now out with the mugshot and everything. All right. Sierra and Russell Wilson have celebrated the arrival of another baby. They have their third child now. Amora Princess Wilson, nine pounds, one ounce. I didn't know she was pregnant. How do you not?
not know. Missed that. There's so many pictures on the red carpet. Yeah, I think even it? at the color purple with her huge baby bump, how all ma- the viral dancing videos. How many kids you said? Um, this is their third child. Okay. Yeah, so congratulations um, to them, by the way. All right, and let's discuss Kanye West's new music. Uh, Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign debut joint album, Vultures. They actually did a world premiere of the album. And uh, this was something that people could watch at home in real time as a stream on YouTube. And so there were tickets for people in attendance that were $200 for general admission, $600 for VIP, and $10,000 for a table if you wanted to see this but if you want to hear some of these songs here is Kanye featuring Young Thug with River too much money to be in the streets too much money to spend all on me too much shading and not enough love free Larry free Young Thug what about this here's Northwest I love it here yeah. we gonna take over the year for another year is your bestie Miss Miss Westie <laughs> All right, and Kim Kardashian was there. Um, Saint was there, so that was a big deal to see. It's nice, nice the family can come together That's for right. things like that. And so, yeah, excited for new uh, Kanye West music. I saw our producer Dan was going crazy just now to the Young Thug song because yeah. he loves Young Thug so much. All right, um, now let's get into some other new music. The holiday seasons are upon us, and you know we love a good Christmas song, right? We do. You don't? We love a good Christmas song. Yeah, a good Christmas song. Run DMC, Christmas and Hollis. Remember Tiana Taylor? She had... um. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, indeed. Well, Coyla Ray has a Christmas song as well, and she shared a little snippet of that. Here it is. Them VVs make you shine, baby. Do my gift, let me unwrap you yeah. with my eyes, yeah. baby. I just had to play that because it was fire. The I snippet. like that. It sounds good, right? Like, even just as a standalone. So that's going to be a dope yeah, like Christmas song. All right, so shout out to Koi Ray, And that is your Yeti. And when we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar. Sometimes they're fun. Sometimes they're just interesting. And sometimes it's breaking news. Under the Radar is next. But in the meantime, since we talked about Kanye so much, let's flash back to some classic Kanye with Selena Johnson all falls down his way up. News that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee with my BRF, best rapper friend, Mayno. No, Mayno! Yes. And we are going under the radar right now with stories that are maybe not in the headlines. Uh, let's start off with UPS. Now, a UPS driver has posted his salary. He posted his pay stub and everything and broke down how much money he makes. And this has gotten over 12 million views already. Mm. Uh, Skylar Stutzman, he's based in Oregon. And here's what he had to say. This is for one week and we have a total earnings of $2,004.98, taxes of $487.49, total deductions of $204.25, with a net take-home for the week of thirteen thirteen twenty four. So they make over $40 an hour, and mm. a lot of people were commenting about that. Um, and when you look at total compensation, the average UPS full-time driver will make about $170,000 annually in pay and benefits. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Dude who was out there with that beef stick, he could have did something like that. Okay. You know You're talking saying? about tell us a secret. Yeah. All right. Falling yeah. up here with that nonsense. He, did, he definitely could have. Um, Two hundred dollars. Now, let's talk about Uber-style private airplane trips. They are here. This is from a company called Connect Air. It's the Uber of private aviation. So, say you have a last-minute flight you want to book. But, you know, last-minute flights can be really expensive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes going through this service can be cheaper and you get to fly private. So, it is a bargain. There's uh, quick flights that are starting at around $111 per person. Private. So can you imagine? They said they want to change the way that people think about short flights. People think it's only for the Bill Gates and Elon Musk of the world is by no means cheap, but it's more accessible than most people people think. Instead of just going to Delta, we want people to see what flying private would be like. It's a totally different way of traveling. They have that out already now? Um, that, yeah, that's available starting this month. And so it's basically booking an empty leg of a repositioning flight. And so, for instance, let's just say there's a flight that um, is a six-seater. Mm-hmm. You pay per person. So they have an example. An empty leg flight from Phoenix to Palm Springs was on sale for $698 or $233 per person because it was a three-seater aircraft. Mm. 
It's that's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, because sometimes those last minute flights are ridiculous. So that's just something that you can check out as well. All right. And I feel like I would do that. I'm just scared to start flying private and feeling like I don't want to go. You know, commercial. You feel that turbulence. Because, you know, more. it starts off going from economy to um, <laughs> comfort. And then you go from comfort to first class. And then you're like, I don't know if I can, <laughs> can go back. And then you go private. To Next thing back. you know, you're like, I think I'll spend thirty thousand dollars on a <laughs> on a flight. All right. Well, that is your under the radar. And, you know, we've got the way up mix at the top of the hour. Plus, Erica Ford is going to be joining us. She is the founder of Life Camp. She yeah. also has a collab with Paper Planes and she has a cannabis company, which is huge. All right. It's way up. Way up. <laughs> Just like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mayno is here. No, Mayno! And let's get into some Yee T. Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are officially divorced. Kenya from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, if you recall, she had written on her stories, Good morning, Team Twirl. Today is an important day for me as I wish to close one chapter in my life as I open another. Please pray for closure for my family and a positive outcome. And then she gave an exclusive to people. She said, after more than three years of litigation, I have finally been granted a divorce. I want to thank everyone who prayed for and uplifted me when I needed it the most. I'm excited for the next chapter in my life and being the best mom I can be for my daughter, Brooklyn. That's a long time. It took three years. Like, this divorce has been going on for so long. They were separated for all that time. They were separated all that time. I think she really wanted things to work out, but they just didn't. I saw that Mark Daly has uh, put out, you know, in in this paperwork, what their salaries are. He says he makes five thousand dollars a month and she makes fifty thousand dollars a month because you know financials always come out Mm -hmm. in these proceedings Mm. all right kodak black has pleaded not guilty to multiple charges after allegedly being caught with cocaine remember that was the word that he had cocaine on him um and according to court documents he is pleading not guilty to third degree cocaine possession tampering with physical evidence and improper stop stand park he's out of jail on bond here's what he has to say about cocaine use don't put that on me, I mean, like for real, for real. Don't convict me or some shit that ain't me. Them people make cocaine on me. That's the only shit when I'm flaming by. I've been told I, I did enough before. That ain't cool in itself. None of this shit is cool on me, but they be talking about cocaine? Come on, man. Hell, no, bro. <laughs> cocaine? I, I like, don't try to put that on me. All right, so I might have done some other things, but and I'm honest, but he said it was not cocaine that he had all right and in addition to that he said he does want to get clean and get help i even went to rehab about myself like with no without court appointment without the court having to tell me to do that just me wanting better for myself me knowing like i got children women and it's like i have to be here for them mm. well hopefully he does manage to to kick this habit it is a disease so to right. be clear it's not like he's voluntarily wanting to be so what is he saying he on then I mean, I know it's marijuana. <laughs> yeah, scratch that. that but ain't. I don't know what that is, and I don't think that um, he probably... I mean, maybe it's, um, you know, maybe it's painkillers. Who knows? Mm. All right, Young M.A. is also now rapping about getting clean, since we're talking about getting clean. She has a new single and video called Open Scars. It's officially out now on all music platforms. I'm a big fan of Young M.A. Yeah. So, yes, absolutely. And Shout here's, out to Young M.A. Here's what um, that sounds like. For the past three years, I let my fans down. I lost faith and I couldn't understand how. I had to go and free my mind and let my head down. Wow. Mm. That's real. It's Open personal. scars. I like that. Yeah, it's yeah, not to listen to the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, she was on the uh, Lobby Boys project with me and Jim. So. Yeah, she's yeah. so dope. I hope it, she gets her passion for music back. All right, well, that is your Yee-T. And, you know, we have Erica Ford from Life Camp joining us. She's also the owner of Kush and Chemist. She has her own marijuana company and a dispensary soon come. And Paper Plane, she has a collaboration with them with Life Camp. All right, it's Way Up. All Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. Erica Ford is here. What's please, up? Please, the time is right now. The time is right now. And I right. love every time I see you when you say, I just got some good news. Because <laughs> it feels like that happens a lot. And, you know, we met while you you are, you still have Life Camp. You created yes. Life Camp. Yes. But that's your baby. Yes. And yes. December 31st, I saw you said you're transitioning, transitioning. from running the day-to-day operation. Okay. So anybody who runs a business... <laughs> 
knows what day-to-day operation is yeah. and it's a lot it has taken a toll on me but i put in my time and so for people who are listening who maybe don't know life camp you know shame on Li- you but <laughs> can you tell people what life camp yes, is and, and the work life that camp. you guys have way done. up with life camp mm-hmm. we are a not-for-profit organization based in jamaica queens but has footprints across the nation across the world really we are one of the leading or the leading um violence prevention organization in the nation we've worked from the hood to the White House. Um, We've been able to move billions of dollars across the United States to help people start up these businesses, to hire formerly incarcerated men and women Mm -hmm. at a very high scale and, um, you know, really reduce violence across the nation and help change and transform a lot of young people's lives in a lot of communities. Right now, I'm talking to Erica Ford, founder of Life Camp. I, I always see you talking about the weekend where there was no gun violence, yes, yes. no guns in New York, you yes, know, yes. which is a major feat. And imagine, right, if you had a weekend, you sold a lot of coffee or a lot of juices, right? You're going to look at what happened that weekend. How do we keep it going? Right. Most places don't do that. They don't invest and keep growing what works, right? We really have to cultivate what works. Although the city is is doing stuff and, you know, supporting the work, but we have to be scientists. We've right. got to really hone in on what works and expand it, right? We just did a training with uh, a practicum that we did a partnership with the University of Chicago. And so we're mm-hmm. training folks who are starting this work on leadership uh, from around them. So we had 38 folks from 21 different cities training them how to do this work in a real sense. And then while we were in the practicum, we found out that our graduation for these folks are going to be at the White House oh. on February 16th. That's huge. That's huge. Yes, that's right? amazing. These I are love folks that. who have been incarcerated for 20, 30 years, 16 years, you know, and so now to come home and be able to do this work and then on top of it, be able to graduate at the White House, right? That's going to be such a surreal moment yes. for so many people and for their families. Yeah, so you come and celebrate with us. But now we just really want people to support Life Camp. We want them to join and help us build this to a whole nother level. And that's why we're going, you know, national working with folks training. That's what I'm going to be doing a lot of now. Okay. Training, especially training women in this work. Because I know as a black woman doing this work, I was constantly you know, all of the above. And so I want to give some of the stuff that I learned to other women who are stepping into this field. Right now, I'm talking to Erica Ford, founder of Life Camp. How many people have tried to make you run for office? Ah, Everybody, a lot, every, yeah. right. And I did it once. <laughs> I did it once. I fell victim. And then that was when the... Um, I fell victim. But, you know, at the same time, that could yeah, nah, be something... Nah. So, so... You know, I'm saying we should vote, right? right? right. And other people should run. (laughs) But don't get me twisted. That is a game. Right. And then you're so indebted to the people who got you in office. Um, listen, Hill Harper's running, right? Yes, and, I believe in Hill Harper. In, in Michigan. But the stuff that he's going through, yeah. and he's like, I had this conversation, I wasn't going to say anything. It's like shocking. Yo, Angela, I've seen more sh- in politics than I did on the streets. Wow. I believe it. People, when I ran yeah. for office... People's lives were threatened. Their funding was taken away. One lady, they harassed her so much, she had a heart attack and died. Oh, my God. Right? I I've can't... seen that is what not... has yeah. happened in politics. Politics is a dirty game. You know, I remember one lady said, the more good I did, the more blackballed I got. Right. And, you know, I've been blackballed a whole lot, <laughs> you know, but I stayed focused on the mission. Right. And that's these young people. Right. And so we owe it to our children. It is our inherent right to live free of violence. It is our inherent right to live free of all of these human rights violations. And the only way we could do it is by being an active participant. So if you don't know how to do that, join Life Camp, volunteer, lifecampinc.com, donate or join an organization near you. There's a lot of organizations that are really active and doing this work all over the nation. Right. So, like, if you don't know one, hit us up. We'll direct you to one in your local organization. But you got to do something. All right. Well, thank you so much to Erica Ford for joining us. And I cannot wait to see how everything plays out. You can watch that full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Ye. You can find out more about her cannabis dispensary and her cannabis company, Kush and Kemet. Find out more about what's happening with Life Camp. And also, where can you get your hands on those Paper Planes collaborations? When we come back, we have Ask Ye, 800 290 to 5150. I'm here with the award-winning advice giver, Mano, yes. and we want to help you. It's way up. Hey,
everybody exits. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. Don't you should, don't you should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee with the award-winning advice giver, Maino. That's why I am. That's what it is. And it's time for you guys to ask whatever question you want for Ask Yee. 800-292-5150. Today's caller is anonymous. What's good? Hey, what's up, Angela? I'm good. What's your question for me and Maino? I want to know how I can hang out with other girls with my girlfriend around and like just let her know that I'm not gonna like be flirting with them, you know? Like I wanna have friends that are girls but I don't wanna like flirt with them. I want my girlfriend to know that I'm always gonna be honest, you know? Mm. So I just I'm having troubles with that. Bring other girls around your your lady. Yeah. Let and introduce them. Do you have other women around? Uh, no, I don't. It's just me and my girlfriend. I want to be completely honest and, like, truthful, you know? Well, she has to meet them if they're your friends. Right. Like, if you want to be friends with these yes. women, she has to feel comfortable. If they call you, if somebody calls you on the phone, it shouldn't be after a certain time at night. But um, uh -huh. you should be able to answer the phone in front of her, say whatever. She should also, if that's your girl, be able to have some type of... If there's somebody that she's cool with, too, that they can have a friendship also. But the only way you're going to be uh -huh. able to accomplish this is if she knows who they are so that there's no sneaking uh -huh. around, having female friends. But your girl has no idea what's going on. You have to also make sure that you set clear boundaries so these women know I can't call you late at night. I, I'm not going to be blowing you up. You know, no type of flirtation. Uh -huh. Are any of these women your friends with people that you formerly dealt with either? No, absolutely not. It's just been me and my girlfriend no, just like the whole time. I've been in a relationship good. with my girlfriend for like a year. It's been like a problem for about a month and mm -hmm. I just don't know how to deal with it. So she has an issue with you having female friends? Like what happened? Yeah, so like if I'm like at my church, right? Mm -hmm. Um, At youth group, okay. like I have a girlfriend at youth group, right? So if I'm like hanging out with like a group of friends and there's a couple of girls in it, like she'll just have a problem and be like, Yo, you sneaking around me like, like I don't know. She's she jealous. She's, she's a jealous, jealous. girl. I'm not honest. She's yeah. a very jealous, jealous girlfriend. Have you lied to her in the past? Uh, no, not not like. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Yes or no? Like a little. No. <laughs> you sound a little uncertain sticking, right now. <laughs> to a story. Well, listen, everything is a process. You guys have been together for a year and she's not used to this. This is something that yeah. now you want to bring into the. So sometimes it's hard when things didn't start that way. And then now you're trying to introduce this, you know, because if you're really friends with uh -huh. these women, she should have been met them and, right. and known about them. Does your, yeah. does, your, does your girlfriend like women? Oh, my God. Don't does do she that. Like, no, she, she's not. Oh, oh, that's not his oh, thing, all okay. right. That's not think they're right. not doing it. Right. But yeah, I just I just feel like it's a matter of being open and honest, making sure that there's clear boundaries set, making sure that when you're around other women, that your your girlfriend is there also, so that she doesn't feel awkward. And then just make sure if there are valid reasons that she feels away, don't make her feel like she's crazy for that. Just understand what okay. it is and where she's coming from, and figure out what it is that you need to do for her to be more comfortable. Wow, man, I really appreciate you, Angela. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Man, I say have a threesome. It's always the advice. All right, well, um, let's move on from that. Speaking of trusting and uh, the opposite sex, we're going to talk about Partisan Fontaine when we come back. He was on Lip Service. That episode is out today, and we have some of the highlights for you as this just dropped. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. We about to do this. Yeah. Yo. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Mayno is here. New Mayno. Mayno, I feel like you and Partisan Fontaine would have a great conversation. Why you feel like that? Together. Because there's some things like, for instance, right? I'm going to play some clips from Lip Service. Mm -hmm. But he talks about how he had no intention of addressing Meg Thee Stallion. But then he ended up writing a whole song about the person, T-H-E-E. -E, so we knew it was about her. Mm -hmm. Have you ever addressed a particular woman in a song? Absolutely. All the time. Maybe not a whole song. Mm -hmm. But I felt like he did that very, very nicely, though. I it don't feel it like wasn't he like... disrespected her. No, nah, I feel like he, he addressed it. I actually felt like he was pouring out a lot of his pain and a lot of his issues. What he went through. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, here's here's what he had to say about that. I had no intention on addressing The nothing. person, yeah. yeah. That, and that's what it feels like. I felt like I just had to clear my name. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like what was... Cyborg, you did there. it so eloquently. Thank you. But um, yeah, it was it was definitely not my intention. It was just something I felt like I had to do. 
All right. In addition, he also talked about having to go to therapy after his breakup, right? And you actually have done something similar mm-hmm. I've when been you broke that. up. Mm-hmm. Right. I've, That's why I'm saying y'all would have had a great conversation. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you properly grieved your last relationship? Um, I did a lot. I did. I went through rounds of therapy. I got a psychiatrist. What did you learn in therapy? I'm one of those people that actually blames myself first. And I always told him, I'm like, I feel like I'm always on eggshells trying to avoid something that could upset somebody or avoid a confrontation. And he was like, yo, you really can't live your life like that. You really got to do what? feels correct to you and then if there is a mistake made apologize for it but you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to figure out how people are going to feel and ju- and mm-hmm. think about you ahead of time but he i think he, more or less he felt like he was to blame so maybe his therapy was was different from mine you didn't feel like you were to blame i felt like that but it was a lot of other stuff going on with me like okay deeper and i don't think i don't think his situation was probably that that deep as mine was. he was about to get engaged yeah, like he was, was ready she, to was marry she, her. But was she on the same page though? I think she would have to tell us that. But that is um, some of the clips. We have some more for you when we come back. You know, he is in a new situation, relationship with Jada Kingdom. So he talks about that. And he also talks about his mother still having a relationship with Megan Thee Stallion. If Meg wants to. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. More of Partisan Fontaine on lip service when we come back. More Way Up with Angela Yee on now. You know who it is. You know who it is. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Mano is here. And we're talking about Partisan Fontaine on lip service. That episode is out right now. And he does have an album. He has a project out today, by the way, called Sex Tape. All right, well, let's talk about some of the other things that he said because he is um, in a new situation right now. He met Jada Kingdom, and here's what he said happened because, you know, you could always slide in the DMs about the music. Here's what he said. <laughs> I have been hating about some some music, actually. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then she got to, like, just dubbed it, you know what I'm saying, for a minute. Just, nah, this song, not this song. So I'm like, all right, but mm-hmm. we're going to figure out what song this is to get on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm going to be in Miami soon, whatever. You know what I mean? Let's just make something. Hell no, she definitely wasn't hearing that. So um, I don't know, just <laughs> through just constant efforts of trying to establish some type of work relationship. Um, was that really all that was on your mind too? Initially, no. like y'all, okay. y'all put that on anything. Look, look. Yeah. The more and more I was hitting her just on music, like she only had like four or five pictures up. You know what I'm saying? The more she started posting, I'm like, oh. Now, Mayno, have you ever slid in someone's DMs under the guise of work? Absolutely. I know you have. Yeah. I feel like I've done it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, just checking you out. Just want to, you know, see if you want to get some music done. Exactly. Studio. Gotta love it. Pull up. All right. And Jada Kingdom was in the studio, you know, so she was there uh, having a chance to hear all of this firsthand. And another thing that he discussed was, you know, after the breakup, his mom and Megan Thee Stallion were very close. So here's what he said that she could still call today. And of course, his mom was disappointed that he would put this song out, The Stallion. Here's what happened. You also said that um, she could still um, hit your mom up for anything. Yeah, because throughout the record, it's, it's been like genuine concern. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, she's always been able to talk to my mom. You know what I'm saying? Even after it was done. You know what I'm saying? After yeah. everything was done, it was like after the trial, like my mom reached out. Like, make sure she's good. Congratulations. You can go on with healing. This part of your life is, you know? So, yeah. I, I, How did your mom feel about the song then? She She didn't really approve of it. I mean, my ex's mom, I still talk to her. Yeah? Yeah. But you don't speak to him? Not really, no. But I, I do talk to her. Because you do get close to people's families. So you speak to her for like, what, well, holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, something like that? Or if something happens, she might hit me up or I might hit her up. She's very nice. Okay. All right, well, that is um, Partisan Fontaine on Lip Service. You can watch that full interview. Um, it's out right now, today. All right? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. When we come back, of course, you guys get to have the last word. It's Way Up. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. All right, well, it's Way Up with Angela Yee, and Mayno is here. New Mayno. New Mayno. And I know we got an active couple of days coming yes, up. You know, the do. holidays are coming up holidays soon. Holidays is coming. There no are ways. some people who are done with work after this week until next year. Yeah, I am no. not some people. 
Me neither. Yeah. Music so, music business is like that. And Friday's a big day too. So let's mm-hmm. get everybody ready for That's that. Right. KLB four. New main on the way. All right. Can't wait for that. And thank you to everybody who joined us today. Make sure you also check out the full Partisan Fontaine interview on Lip Service. He talks about a lot of different things, but he also has a project that's out today, the Sex Tape Project. So you can check that out. Also, thank you to Erica Ford for joining us. I love all the work that she's been doing. Yeah, in I the love community. Erica. Man. Shout out to Erica Ford. Yeah, just really organic and naturally been doing this work even when there was no money and no that's financing. Right. She's been outside and no front grants line. involved, no White House involvement. That's right. She's been doing this because she does it from the heart and she deserves yeah, everything. Absolutely. Uh, that she gets you know financially she deserves to reap those rewards but you can watch that full interview on my youtube channel way up with ye and as usual you guys get to have the last word hi so this is harvey out of nashville tennessee so what is considered cheating is basically what is outside of the constitutional understanding of those individuals in that relationship if there are two people who are in an open relationship and they say and they set standards of what that actually looks like, then anything outside of that would be considered cheating for them. So we can't identify what cheating is for another set of people. I want to shine light on my husband, Michael Diaz. Um, he's always there for me, especially with us buying a new home. I know that things have been more stressful and with our family not being as supportive as we thought. We've been sticking closer together more than ever, and I just want to tell him I'm very thankful to have him. Thank you. You tapped in and way up with Angela Yee.